hello guys welcome back to my channel this is classical creativity YouTube channel where we learn everything organization creativity and teaching with the 21st century instruction strategies today we're going to show you how to create anchor charts digitally this is exactly what you are going to be creating right now so i'm going to open up a new powerpoint so this is a new powerpoint i'm going to delete this because i don't really need it and then i'm going to resize this because the size matters in order for you to have the appropriate size you need right now i'm going to resize it to go to design i'm going to change the width to 24.4 and then for the height i'm actually going to leave it at i'm going to change it to 17.101 okay and now I'm going to click OK, maximize. So now I have the appropriate size. This size, I'm going to show you how I'm going to print it off in order to have an A5 size, just like we normally see on Pinterest or maybe Google images. So right now I'm going to start by dropping a shape, rectangular shape. I usually get a shape to fill in here okay and then I'm going to drag it take it down right now I'm going to change the color to black oh sorry to white and then I'm going to change the borders too but this time I'm going to increase the width of the borders so that I can have exactly what I wanted right now I'm going to fill this then I just want to center it okay so the next thing I'm going to do is to pick up this in order to create the title I already have this so there's no need recreating this now i'm going to use this anchor chart for my word study or for spelling that we usually do every monday so i'm going to pick up a text box so i'm going to be showing you one of the spelling topics that we've already done it's just for the benefit of this video i'm going to show you how i made it so i have my silent w words now i'm going to change the color to white because it's going to be on this so I have it here and now I'm going to increase this font size and another thing I usually do because I try as much as possible to use a font that the children can view from any angle in the classroom so I am going to make this stand out for me to do that i i'm going to use area round okay so it's it's bold enough i can zoom it in more okay okay so here i have this now in order for me to show them an example of what i'm talking about i'm actually going to insert an icon an example of a word that has silent w all right so i'm going to write wreath so here are some of the samples i have and i'm i'm going to pick just one and insert it so once the wreath drops i'm going to first of all this is what i usually do in order to make it fit because it's a picture i can crop it to reduce the extra um, white space around it so i'm going to make it bold this is a sample of a wreath just an example and then i'm going to duplicate this i have it here right now and the next thing i'm going to write is wreath which is w r e a t h okay i'll change it to black so that i can uh -oh. you see 
my w has disappeared right now i have this as a sample in order to get the children to focus on the spelling pattern because the main reason why i'm using this is to encourage them to to remember the spelling pattern and focus on how it is being spelled so here i have my read for me to do this i'm going to highlight or change the color of the letter we are focusing on so here we have the w not only highlighting it in red i'm also going to underline it by underlining it they will know that oh this is the particular letter we are focusing on so this is exactly how to make an anchor chart for your classroom now if for me to print it off and have it on a bolder form i will go to printer properties and change this to print on two a3 papers so that i can put them together and so this is how to create an anchor chart okay so at this point when i want to share it with the children i can just type in here some of the words that have the silent w in them and they will see the pattern or i can equally print it off and hand write it because i'm also focusing on handwriting my school uses nelson handwriting so i will focus on that particular writing pattern so that they can see it and be able to copy me children tend to imitate their teachers so i'm going to go ahead and print it off then paste it and show you how it's going to um, look like when i paste it on my wall okay so that brings us to the end of this video in case if you have any question on how to create maybe a digital resource and you don't know how to do it just let me know in the comment section of this video and i'm going to do a video on how to create such material then if you have not subscribed to my channel do well to click the red subscribe button also share this video with your teacher friends i have some other useful videos on my channel so you can check those out and entertain yourself so if you have any question and you still need more clarity on how to get some of these things done do let me know in the comment section of this video also give this video a thumbs up like comment down below because this helps me a lot it helps me know that you like more videos like this i love you so much keep inspiring creativity and transforming lives bye